There are many, many items in Bed Wars. To be precise, there is more than 30 items that you can buy in the shop. And if you add that to like the tiers of pickaxes and axes, plus the wooden sword and the leather armor you get, there's a lot of stuff in Bed Wars, right? There's a bunch of different items that you can use to your advantage and win at Bed Wars games. However, today we're on a quest to find the most useless Bed Wars item in the entire game. Now, uh, we're not going to use any specific procedure to actually do this. What we're going to do is we're basically just going to buy the things that I think are pretty useless and see if they actually are. I have a pretty good feeling that I have an idea of which one is the most useless item, but I'm going to keep that to myself and let you guys find out later in the video. And without any further ado, let's hop straight into it. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Alrighty, here we are in the first game of the video. Now today, as just mentioned, we're going to be on the quest to find the most useless item in all of Bed Wars. Now I already have a pretty good idea on what I believe is the most useless item in the whole game game but I think we're just gonna give today a go and see if we can like kind of finalize and just be a hundred percent sure of it all right this guy will not be messing with me I'll tell you what he's gonna regret doing that block up the stairway get a nice little hit and we should be good to win the fight hopefully Nice, all right, and the bed is mine. Bro, if I get this guy, it's gonna actually be nutty. You guys are gonna have to subscribe for all that one. Bruh's gonna give him a go here. Oh. Oh, I'm insane. I am incredible. The last two blocks. Every single block is necessary. All right, now what is not useless in Bed Wars is the diamond generators. So we're going to make our way over to them now, grab some diamonds, and hopefully get some protection and a trap for our bed because we do not want to lose it because beds are, once again, pretty useful in Bed Wars, you might guess. The name's a little bit of a hint. I have just spent many, many minutes collecting six good old emeralds from middle. And what we're going to do with these is purchase ourselves some bridge eggs. Brilliant. We're also going to go ahead and get two pop-up towers because they are definitely necessary. And what else should we get? Uh, some water. Let's definitely get some water. That is that is looking necessary to me. Now, these are three items that I, like, next to never buy. Um, They are all, like, useful in their own ways, sure. But it's fair to say they're definitely not necessary in every single game of Bed Wars. Now, with the bridge eggs here, we're going to give them a go. Basically, there's two things you can do with bridge eggs. One of them is basically throwing them at people and trying to hit them off with them. It, it's interesting. And then the other other ones the primary use which is uh it's to basically just just do this boing i actually remember when bridge eggs were added to bed walls and everyone was having an outrage because they were ridiculously op but in reality no one uses them anyway next we move on to oh relax dude next we move on to our next item we got the water bucket and we're going to combine a water bucket pop-up tower play in one here it's going to be incredible you guys are going to love this one it's called a water bucket clutch oh and i missed <laughs> Okay, but the water might actually come in handy. And now we pop up to our room. <laughs> Get in there, bro. <laughs> they couldn't have actually gone any better, mate. Maybe I need to take it back. Maybe pop up towers are the best item in the game. <laughs> what else should we get? I think it's time to get some sponge. <laughs> and I'm going to get another pop-up tower. Because the pop-up tower, bro, that stuff was nasty, mate. He full just got block trapped in it while I broke his bed. That was insane, mate. I definitely planned for that to happen. Oh, man. That was gold. All right. I found out. Oh, does he have a pearl? Bro. No. No. Oh, oh my. What? Who pearls with a bed? Man, I'm just going to have to pull some insane pop-up tower plays on this dude. I'm going to have to show him how it's done, mate. It's going to be absolutely incredible. He voided. He's really asking for it here. I'm going to I'm gonna pull out what I like to call the sponge bridge pop-up tower play. This is something you've probably never seen before. Watch this, everyone. Mate, that was insane. Can you guys believe how good that pop-up tower play was, mate? <laughs> I, I actually didn't realize that he wasn't inside where the pop-up tower was going to go, so I, I kind of misplayed that a little bit. But it's okay. We can pretend I didn't. Should I just go in? Should I just full-on go in? He's going to buy a better sword. He bought an iron sword. That's a real big yikes. Don't fireball me, mate. That's disrespectful to the culture. I'm going to probably get this guy here. Oh, unlucky, mate. 
Insane. What an absolutely crazy game of Bed Wars. What can I say? I'm just the best. Real talk though, it wasn't even me that was good that game. It was a pop-up tower, bridge egg, water, sponge, everything else combination, mate. No one could handle me. They did not see it coming. But this game, I believe I'm going to use arguably the most useless item in all of Bed Wars. I'm pretty sure you could probably guess what it is. Actually, I don't know. Because the thing about how useless this item is, is that I actually forgot that it existed in the game. That's how useless it is. I literally forgot about its existence, right? So you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about because it's it's literally never... I, I like, I, I've not seen anyone use it in literal months, mate. And I will be using the item, or at least purchasing it, immediately after we get Aqua Team here, if we are successful. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do some bridging. Hit him away, get the bed, and hopefully finish the man off. What's his name? Cow Gunner? What a lovely name that is. Oh, who are you? Oh, hello, mate. Nice to know you. All right, now, the item that we want to buy requires 40 iron. It is an incredible amount of iron for arguably the most useless item in the game. Dang my love. Uh, basically, chainmail armor, mate. It has been a very long time since I've seen someone wearing chainmail armor, and that is with good reason. The item is next to nothing, bro. It is literally 40 iron for slightly better defense. Like, have a look at my armor bar. It's not even halfway there, mate. It's barely worth having at all. You're better off to buy a silverfish with your iron, and that's saying something, because silverfish are not the best item in the game by any means. They can be useful, but, mate, I'm not gonna lie. They, they are just, they're just not that useful, let's be completely honest. But nothing really compares to the chainmail armor, mate. It's uh, it's quite impressive how useless it really is. Um, like I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna lose all my fights if anyone has like at least iron armor, bro. I don't stand a goddamn chance because literally I'm just gonna get destroyed by the armor difference, mate. It's gonna be incredible. I found blue team here. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. Oh, he was just not having any of it. But he has got iron armor, and I've been combo. Dude, I comboed him, and he still won. That really says something about chain armor. Like you guys, like uh, there was a lot of hits different between him and I then. And I'm pretty sure I had a lot more hits than him. And I lost to his armor, I'm pretty sure. Because chainmail armor, mate, is quite useless. Alright, he's on his way back. Oh, I don't like the look of this guy. He, he looks a bit mean. I don't like him very much at all. But I think the knockback stick will get... Yep, too easy, mate. Too easy, bro. Um, If I had to fight him without a knockback stick, though, I wasn't liking my chances. Because this chain armor, mate, it does nothing, bro. It's literally like as useful as a fork when you're drinking soup, mate. And you don't even drink soup. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yellow team has a bed. I got pink's bed, but they somehow are still alive. They got green and blue's bed. I don't know what this dude's doing, but whatever he's doing is working for him. And uh, I'm gonna try to finish off this game real quick. Here's a quick little message for you little viewers. What's going on everyone? If you guys like my montages or are interested in the montage clips that I kind of do a fair bit, I feel like you guys would thoroughly enjoy my TikTok. Now I've made a TikTok like quite a while ago, but I kind of went inactive on it. But I've just recently started posting a little bit more. And uh, basically on my TikTok, I post a bunch of montage kind of clips that haven't been put into a montage yet um and here's here's a little example of what i do on tiktok instead of telling you about it why don't i just show you See, that's basically what I do on TikTok. What, what's going on here? Oh, nice. So if you're interested in my TikTok, link will be in the description as usual. And this guy here, he is actually popping off. He's killed so many teams, but his iron armor is not enough to deal with my chain armor. Am I right? <laughs> oh my God. What can I say? Chain armor, mate. Honestly, the best. All right, here we are in Lighthouse. Now, the thing about Lighthouse is if you're playing solo on Lighthouse, you're not going to get quick iron. It's just a normal iron generator on solo. But on doubles, Lighthouse has an extremely fast gen. I, I don't know how it works, bro. It's just like kind of like, I don't know. You get a good gen on Lighthouse if you're playing doubles, but if you're playing solo, it sucks. Which means if you're trying to rush that chainmail armor like I am, it's going to take a little bit longer. And it's the same with like Speedway and Airshow on all the other maps. There's not many that have a fast iron gen in solo. So um, that's another reason why chainmail is just 
you're honestly probably more likely to get um iron armor before chain on most maps in solo because it's just like i get him maybe in fours and, and threes and stuff maybe but i don't play them as much so chain to me is kind of just uh, irrelevant i guess i'm sure i'm not alone in thinking that right speaking of slow iron i literally cannot make it over to gray because i can't even get blocks bro let alone gosh darn chain armor mate i can't even get blocks oh wait and i think by habit i accidentally bought iron armor already that's how much of a habit iron armor is bro anyway whatever we'll just have to deal with having iron armor it's it's not going to be very good though because you already know chain is literally the best armor in the game should be able to get gray here there we go he's down hi sammy hey what's up baby i love you sammy love you too bro i'm recording is there anything you want to say to the people oh you're recording yeah oh that's kind of awkward talk bro okay goodbye no 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 no, no, no. what do you want to say to the people they're uh, listening i want to say that sammy's god tier is selix f tier <laughs> and crusty david's even better than estelic as well she's just, she's just yeah we don't talk about it no man estelic eh, kind of you can't really talk she's a bit taboo in this kind of area am i right she, yeah she just smells too like, dude she like, stinks I, literally met, bro. I met up with her and she stinks like, bro Oh, legit oh, like stress. straight okay, up like back. oh my need some deodorant or something bro anyway That's love you saying, like, <laughs> okay, bye -bye. love you am i right <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a man. Guys, mate, if you guys have not subscribed to Krusty David on YouTube and followed him on Twitch and Twitter, what are you doing, bro? Krusty David, he's a good bloke. What's going on, Krusty David? You'll need a link in the description to Krusty David because I'm feeling generous. You guys need to go give him some love. He's a legend. All right, in the meantime that David was vibing with us, we have taken out Gray. They didn't seem exactly happy about what happened, but I am, and that is all that is important to me. <laughs> all right, and somehow there's only two players left and neither of them have a bet. Actually, there's now only one play. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to pull off some insane plays on him, bro. I'm going to have to... Uh, what am I going to use, bro? Have, let's have a look at my arsenal of weapons here. What shall we use on this guy? I, mm, honestly, I'm not I'm not sure. I think the, the sponges... I really think the sponges are the way to go. They seem pretty damn clutch in this situation. I'll show you exactly why soon. All right, watch this, mate. This is where the sponges come in absolute clutch. All right, are you ready for this? You guys are not prepared. I told ya. And then they can disappear when needed, bro. Look at that. And just like that, they vanished. The clutch sponge. Dude, the sponges, they're built different, mate. They are honestly built different. Sponges in bed wars. Sponges need their price doubled or something because far out, mate. They're way too OP. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I'm not entirely sure if this was a little bit shorter than normal. I played like three or four games, but it's only been 20 minutes since I started recording. They were really quick games. So I apologize if it's been a quick video, but I played the amount that I normally do. Anyway, that'll be today's video. I guess it kind of makes up for the smaller upload if I'm kind of uploading like every single day. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I hope you did enjoy. Feel free to follow my Twitch and Twitter and my Instagram and my TikTok, everything in the description. And thank you guys so much for coming along for this video. I really, really appreciate it. Have a good one.